Hello and welcome to another video of Card Kids. Today I'm at Cards HQ. I have $500 and I'm going to spend it all right now. Let's go. I'm definitely going to be looking at mostly football. I might look at a little basketball and a little baseball, but it's definitely going to be mainly football. All the cases in Cards HQ are price sorted. So all these are going to be out of my price range. These are all looks like 600 and up. These ones will be in my price range, but I want to buy a few cards, not just one. So these are actually probably not going to be in my price range. You know, it's like 300 and up. These ones will be more in my price range. These ones I might look at a lot. Here's in price range, price range, price range. So you'll see me looking at all of these cases here. And actually, to start off, I see one right here. I see a Joe Burrow silver. Joe Burrow is my guy. I love Joe Burrow. And that, and his cards are down so much since he got injured. So we are definitely going to look at that one. I have the first one I want to pull out. Hey, welcome to Cards HQ. How can I help you today? I need you to pull out that silver right there. Oh, Joe the Burrow. Burrow. How did I know that if you're shopping for cards, the first card you were gonna buy was Joe Burrow? How did I know that? I had a feeling. Somehow I had a feeling about that. I had a feeling the first card to respawn might be Joe Burrow. You know what though? I like that right now. Joe Burrow's market is down. So down. I like it actually right now. I like Joe Burrow cards. Here you go, sir. Enjoy your Joe Burrow. What else can I help you with? Um, actually, I don't hate this card. Oh, another either. Burrow. No. Oh, that one? We'll show that. Let's see what this we got there. Oh, yeah, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, Mosaic Silver. His his market's also really, really it down is. right now. It is. You're willing to take a chance on him yes, as well. These are two nice ones. And the now SGC, I'm curious. Why did you pick out on that burrow? Why did you pick out the SGC 95 Silver instead of like the PSA 10s over here that aren't silver? Well, the SGCs in the 95 and 10s often cross over really well. Like if you were to crack them and you're sending PSA, they often will grade tens. So that's a really good sometimes. way. Some, sometimes. 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 It, it works with me. I've done it like twice and it's worked 100% of the time. Okay. Usually the plan whenever I buy SGC cards is to crack them and send them to PSA. Interesting. So you're thinking about doing that with those? I might, yeah. Okay. That's nice. If you don't mind opening that the case, cool. if you don't mind, if you don't mind opening the case for me. You want to see that card? Yes. That is actually really cool. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence, on card auto. Obviously not a manufacturer auto. It was hand signed, you know, in person signed. On the pink, on the pink Prism rookie card, that looks really nice. Some auto grade of a ten. It's a really nice one right there. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Two hundred. Card, card not graded, but the auto grade's yes. a ten. Yes. Two hundred bucks for a Trevor Lawrence auto seems pretty good. How much money do you have left there? So you got 200. That's why I spent three. This is 300. So you can buy, you got $200 left to yes. spend. Are you going to get one card or are you going to divide that up between a couple of different cards? I did promise everyone I was going to go check out some basketball and some baseball. Oh, okay. There you go. This is very helpful because instead of having to just, you know, search around in a sport that I'm not crazy familiar with, I can just start here because this is my budget from here all the way back there. Right, And then yeah. I can look for cards that look really nice. Yeah, we've got all the showcases sorted by price. I was So with what that, you're yeah. doing, where you have a budget, that's particularly helpful. Because you know exactly where the $100 cards are and exactly where like the $50 cards are all right over here. $100 cards are all right over here. That maxi can't be numbered, right? That is a gold fast break. Let's take a look. I mean, I would. Is that your Kobe White that we pulled? Um, I might be. I don't know. I don't know. It is, in I fact, number to 10. Yeah, that's a Tyrese oh. Maxey. He's playing really yeah, well right now. He just had a 50-point game not long ago. I mean, that's not a rookie, so that's oh, why it's yeah. not that expensive, but still a Tyrese Maxey gold number to 10 for 75 yeah. bucks. Actually, that's... I might buy that if you don't. Yeah. Like, honestly. Yeah, put this one back. All right. And then I'm gonna go over to the baseball. Cause I like that one and I like the Joel Embiid. You want to go look at baseball before you make mm -hmm. a decision? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I have a special surprise that I'm gonna look that I'm gonna go look through at the end. Some really random cards. All right. So this is our baseball aisle uh, here, but then we also have um, all the Atlanta Braves players on the other side mm -hmm. of this aisle. So if you want any Acuna cards, for example, yeah. 
And also don't forget that this is all graded cards, but we have another section of the yep. store that's raw cards if you want to so go look might, over there. Might need to go over there. Steve Aoki autograph. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. It can't be someone, ooh, Corbin Carroll rookie card. I like that one. Can you pull out the Corbin Carroll rookie card? Yeah, that's a good one. This is 2023 Bowman Mega Box PSA 10 mm -hmm. for a Corbin Carroll rookie card PSA 30 10, bucks. 30 bucks. It's a nice one. I like this one. If he, you know, is good, I don't know, like. Diamondbacks should be good again this year. I don't, yeah. They got to World Series. They didn't win it. They got to there. This is really awesome. Did y'all sell the Braves Super Vector that we had? Um, it'd be on the other side of the aisle. I don't think we've sold it yet. Yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. Incognito Alvarez. That's not his actual. It's like Ignacio or something. Yeah, Ignacio. But we're calling you him. Wanna, you want to say that calling, again? No, I like you calling say him that Incognito. Again? It wasn't, it's not Incognito. But I like calling him it's Incognito. Ignacio. All right, you have $170 left. What are you thinking? I like, well, I got this one, the Corbin Carroll. Right. You know, that's a nice one. Rookie card, PSA 10. You know, like the Chrome. I liked the Maxi that was 75 and the Embiid that was 100. So if I don't see anything That'd else. That'd be $5 over. So if I don't see anything else, I might be able to get those two if I negotiate down for wow. $5. I'm not sure about that. We'll you, see. You don't think I can negotiate for $5? I'm not sure. You don't believe in my negotiating sure. skills? All of our cards are priced fairly here at Cards HQ. I think I can negotiate for that card. Yeah, is that one going to fit in your budget right there? Mm hmm. That one? Yeah, it's only like that. eight. It's only like that eight. One. It's only like eight thousand dollars over. Yeah, that's you know. I mean, that's like close enough. If you add an extra eight thousand dollars to your five hundred dollar budget, then perhaps you could exactly. actually get that card. Let's see. It's not that much. Yeah. It's like only a lot more than what I have. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the thing I was talking about. Oh, that's the T law, the, the autograph, the one one. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's his rookie. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty neat actually. So mm -hmm. that's his rookie printing plate one of one from his contenders rookie card, which is a very popular rookie card of his. That card was first, autographed. That card was first priced at two thousand. Oh, really? Yeah. Yikes. Back Super Bowl. Took a loss on that one, huh? When nobody bought it, I, I guess. guess. The shop did. Yeah. When they lost the Super Bowl. Okay, I know what I'm gonna get. If you would open this case. This open this case. Yes. Okay. Please. And I will be purchasing the Maxi. That's a smart buy. I like that buy. A gold Maxi, number to 10 for less than 100 bucks. Seven out of 10 gold Maxi. I think that's pretty great. You were saying how he was had a great game. Yeah. I just knew he was playing great. a great, great season. I just knew he was playing great. I didn't yeah. know he had that 50 point game. I just knew he'd been playing great. Yeah. And then, if I don't find anything here, I will be getting the Joe Embiid, but Here's a bunch of very old cards. Oh wow, you're gonna look over here. Yes. I'm going to find the oldest one and I'm going to purchase whatever one that is. Wow. 1919, top left, that's our oldest one so far. It better not be done by, oh, ooh, another 1919. Do I want Brian Washburn or do I want a pig away he ran nursery rhymes? Here's 1910. Oh really? Yeah, these boxers right here. These are all, so these are all considered pre-war cards. So they're all from, those guys, you know, the early 1900s. But those guys aren't a pig away he ran. 1910 might be our oldest. Maybe we have some 1909 somewhere. Is that when they started making cards, 1909? They have cards all the way back to the 1800s, but you don't see them as much. Like the 1860s, um, 1880s, you can find There's cards There's 1909. From. 1909 right the there. The Maverick from Hassan Cigarettes. I mean, that's pretty cool. That one right there. Now say goodbye to you. Fat and stinky, they're little pup too. Fat and skinny. Oh. I Not fat and stinky. stinky. <laughs> fat and stink. stinky, it's fat and skinny. Well, that's Fat and skinny. Okay. What do you want, you're gonna buy an old card? You're gonna buy one of these? You're well, gonna, buy, you're gonna start know. to expand your collection into pre-war? No, these are for PC. These I wouldn't know who to sell them to. Yeah, I don't think. You see people with like vintage cards, but these are like another These are level an extra vintage. level beyond vintage. Yeah. I mean, they are obviously vintage, but yes, they are super old. I do like There's the, a lot of pre-war collectors out there, but there's I not a like lot a of 13-year-old pre-war collectors. I do like a pig away he ran. You want it? Yes, I do want a pig right. away he ran. Let's do it. Do you think we have a George Washington card? We might. Okay. We have some presidents. And then, I do still want this Joel and B. You can no longer afford it. But I am getting one, two, three, four, five, six. The Joel Embiid would be the seventh, and the shop is getting a payday of five hundred dollars for seven of their cards. 
Yeah, but how much does this total up to? You spent $420 so far, you have $80 remaining. Yes. So there you go. The Joel Embiid card is that you want is $100. You are $20 short, sir. May I challenge you to a game of rock, paper, scissors? Yes, but what if I win? I'll pay for all of these minus this one. Or no, I'll just pay for all of these for $500. Okay, that's a good deal for me. All right, best two, best two out of three. This is how confident I am, guys. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. This isn't a good deal for me. Hold up. Because how much we said that valued up to 420? Let's do it. And then. Let's do it. So, so it's either you it. lose $20 or Let's I lose do it. $80? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, two to three. All right, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No! Yes! 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 No, no. Cards HQ made extra money. No, Cards HQ no. made extra money. Cards HQ no. made extra money. No. That was a very bad deal for you, sir. But I'll be happy to check you out for those cards for $500. Let's go to the checkout register. There you go. Thank you. Three hours later. Okay, sir. Your total with your tax for losing rock, paper, scissors is $500. Keep the change. Thank you. Thank you for shopping at Cards HQ. So I did lose rock, paper, scissors, but I also got these, uh, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six awesome cards. And the you know, Cards HQ prices are really good. So some of these might even be worth more than how much I bought them for. And if I can crack these and put these in the PSA 10s, I really won't lose that much money. But he kicked me out, so I gotta leave now. Make sure to like, subscribe, so I can get back in. Can I come back in now? <laughs> okay. Yay!